Okay, so we've learned to read data. Um, we've learned to edit data or cast data from a data frame or from a dictionary into a data frame. We've learned to set values um, right here. We've learned to iterate through uh, data frames. Last, let's write everything we've done back to a file. This is actually pretty straightforward. So uh, we could have edited everything in this um, insurance data file and then written it. But for simplicity, I'm going to write this cool little heart rate date table here back to a file. So pretty straightforward. Um, I've created it. I've edited it. Now let's write it saying uh, heart rate data frame uh, dot two CSV. And let's call this um, heart rates dot CSV. Now, uh, we want to write this to a specific location. If I do it right here, it's going to write it inside the content folder, but that's not what I want. I'm actually going to come up here and copy. Um, or sorry, it's going to, it's going to, no, sorry, not the content folder. It's going to write it in this main folder right here. I want to put this all the way back down to drive my drive collab notebooks data and put it in the same folder as the insurance here. So I'm going to copy this whole path. Now, if you're using, um, Anaconda, Jupyter Notebooks, your path is going to go all the way back to the D drive like I had in the other video. It's going to be an absolute path that starts at the beginning, or this is what we call a relative path that starts at a, um, at a particular location. Anyway, down here, I'm going to paste, delete that insurance.csv. Uh, there we go. Heart rates. Just go ahead and run that. And now it should appear right here if we refresh. There we go, heartrates.csv. Now, just to make sure, um, remember Google Drive syncs to your machine. And so you have to have uh, Drive running um, the, the sync down here in your system tray. Let's see if I've got it running somewhere. Oh, I don't know if which one of those icons it is. So I'm gonna come over here and search for um, sync, backup and sync from Google. There we go, I'm gonna run that. Make sure it's turned on over here. Oh, this is it right here. This is the one that's running. So it's syncing a few files. I didn't want that opened up. In a moment, um, it's already running. There we go. Just popped up heart, heart rates. So I put it up here on the, uh, put it up on my cloud server and it just took a moment for it to sync down to my computer. So I can open it up now in Excel. And sure enough, there's everything I was working with. Okay, that's it for this chapter. We've learned how to read data, um, edit data in a data frame, and write it back to a file. Clearly, there is a ton left to do with data frames that we'll need throughout this course, but this is enough for now to get us started.